Today's story is The Foxy Lady. The Foxy Lady. Foxy means it's a fox. Fox is an animal with a bushy tail, with a, a sharp nose. Foxy lady means Foxy means um, tricky, trick, tricky, deceitful, cunning, crafty, sly, not nice. Okay, tricky, tricky lady. Or Foxy could mean sexually attractive, sexy woman. Okay, so the Foxy lady is a story and it is a uh, folk tale uh, from China, Chinese story. A long time ago in China, and I don't know where in China, China is a big country. Anyway, it was in China and there was a man, there was a man and he was a single man, single. Single means he's not married. He is a bachelor, he's, he's not married, okay? So he was a single, he was single. And he's, I don't know how old he was. Well, let's say he was about 40, 45, okay? Now, he, his name was Mr. Ong. Mr. Ong was his name. Now, Mr. Ong lived across the street. This is his house. This is his house. And he lived across the street from a big hotel. It was a hotel. It was an inn, local inn. Inn is a, in a smaller a uh, place where smaller than ho a hotel uh, where people can go and you know spend the night when they are traveling okay so it is a uh, yeah mr ong lived across the street from a, a local inn now mr ong was outside he was outside one day and he was looking at the inn he was just looking across the street and looking at the inn. Beautiful hotel. Soon a car came. A car came and the door opened. The car door opened and came out a woman. Came out a woman who had a long beautiful hair. The hair was pitch black. Pitch black means pitch black, 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 black. Pitch black means really black. Like pitch dark tunnel means when you are in the tunnel, you can't see anything because it's so dark. Okay, so pitch black means really, really black hair. She had really, really black hair. And she had a, she was a very tall woman. She was a very tall woman. And her face was very, very uh, white. She had, her skin was clear, as clear as moonbeams. Moonbeams. Moon, you know the moon? Moon, yeah, the moon. Moon, moon, you know, the light, you know, beautiful white light that the moon emits, okay? So her face was as clear as moon beams. So it's, that just means pretty, okay? Okay, and then she was very, very tall and she had this beautiful long black hair and she was, she walked. 
She walked. She walked. And she walked in a very strange way. When she walked, her, this is, can you see? This is her hip. Hip, you know? Hip. Her hip moved. When she walked, her hip moved. And when she walked, her hip moved, but it also had a very strange sound. It sounded like swish, swish, swish. So the woman walked and went into the uh, inn. She went into the inn and there was a hotel manager who said, welcome. She said, hello, she said, I would like to rent an apartment. I'd like to stay. What she, what she said was, can I stay in your hotel for, I don't know how many months, but she wanted to rent it. Not just to stay, but she wanted to rent one month or two months or three months. Rent the apartment, rent the room. So she said, can I rent, can I stay in your hotel for a while? She said, she said, I have enough money to pay for three months. And so the, the, the innkeeper said, sure. Yes, of course we have a room for you. And then the cab driver, cab driver came out and he had the girls, uh, the, uh, this woman's trunks, traveling suitcases, okay, trunk, trunk. And he followed her and she went in and she, you know, she went inside, okay? Now, Mr. Ong, Mr. Ong was watching her from across the street. And Mr. Wong, oh, she's pretty. She, she's pretty. He likes her. He says, wow. She is pretty. She is pretty. She's, he's interested in this woman. Okay. Well, she walked and she, you know, she, when she walked, her hips moved. Her hips sway. Sway is like move, you know. You're, when you have a long hair, your long hair, sway too when you walk, you know. And so her hips swayed and her hair swayed and, and she walked into the hotel. Now Mr. Ong looked at her from behind and he said, oh my, go oh my goodness, I like her. Okay, now, after she went into the room and the next day, Mr. Ong went to the inn and he said to the innkeeper, see, they are friends because, you know, Mr. Ong lived across the street and, and the, the innkeeper lived across the street and so they, they know each other, they are neighbors, so they like, they know each other. So he said, you know, I'd like to bring some presents to, Miss, to, to her. What is her name? And he said, see, this is a long time ago, 300 years ago in China. Well, I don't know if it's 300 years ago, but long time ago. There was, uh, there was no, nothing like a, 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 a privacy of, a, you, you have to keep the privacy, you, have to, uh, you can't give away the private information type of thing. And so the innkeeper says, oh, her name is Mrs. Brown, I mean, not Mrs. Her name is Miss Brown. And Miss Dong says, can I go and see her? Can I knock on her door? And the innkeeper says, okay, you know, go, go ahead, go upstairs. And so uh, Mr. Ong goes to her room and he knocks on the door and Miss Brown says, who is it? And Mr. Ong says, 
My name is Mr. Ong. I have brought you a present. Okay? And so she opens up the door. It's dangerous. You don't ever know, do that because you never know who's all knocking on your door. You never open the door to a stranger. But anyway, this is a story. And so Mr. Ong says, hello, he says to Mrs. Uh, 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 Miss, Miss, Miss Brown. Mr. Ong says, here, I brought you some flowers. Well, it was an ex it was expensive flower. It was orchid, orchid as an expensive flower. You know, it's not like carnations or it's not like a daisy. You know, orchid is like I don't know how how much it, how much it costs, but it's an expensive flower. Anyway, he brought this expensive flower to Miss Brown. Miss Brown, oh, long hair. And she's got a beautiful eye. Her, her face is uh, as clear as moonbeams. And she says, well, thank you very much for your present, present, she said. Every day, Mr. Ong knocked on her door and brought either a, a bunch of flowers or sweet candies, expensive sweet candies and after one month uh, one month later Mr. Ong said to Miss Brown would you like to go for a walk and so she says okay and so they go for a walk into a beautiful flower garden and then they smell this beautiful smell of the flowers yeah in the garden and after another month passed and he kept giving her flowers and chocolates and and um, a sweet morsel they call it. It calls it oh, um, mos. Oops, mo morsel. Morsel is a as a, a, a small piece. So sweet morsel will be a sweet small piece of sweet sweet candy. Okay. And so, uh, you know, he gave her nice presents and they walked in the garden. And after two months, three months, he said to her, please marry me. She's pretty. Marry me. Okay. He asked, he asked uh, her hand in marriage. Ask her hand in marriage. This means he proposed to her. He said, please marry me. He asked her, he asked, he asked her hand in marriage. Okay, so he said, please marry me. And she said, yes. Well, Miss, Mr. Ong was super happy. He was super happy. And the innkeeper said, congratulations. And Mr. Ong's friend said, good, I'm glad for you. Wish, I, we, we wish you happy together for a long time, for many, many years. Okay, so they got married. Now, after Mr. Ong, married her and again one month one month passed after one month strange things began to happen strange things began to happen the 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 liquor the wine the beer and wine wine you know the the, the alcohol wine Wine bottles, alcohol bottles, uh, uh, were missing from market. Okay, in the other, uh, in the, the from the liquor wine store, from the liquor store, wine bottles began to, uh, to be stolen. The uh, every night, two or three wine bottles were gone, and uh, during the night. 
chicken, you know, quack, 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 chicken began to uh, cry, make a big noise during the night. And in the morning, people saw chickens were dead. And then uh, people began to see different, different funny things in, around, the, around the others, around the village. And they said, isn't that strange, that Miss Brown, that Miss Brown, when after she came to this village, things look, the, the strange things began to happen. That Miss Brown, that woman, is always wearing, she's always cold. She's always cold and she's always wearing a fur coat. Fur, fur is, you know, the, uh, the, the animal fur, like a rabbit or the, uh, I don't know what else they wear, but the fur, you know, the animal, the fur, fur, fur the skin, uh, animal skin, okay, fur coat. So um, she was wearing a fur coat during the summer. She was always cold. And strangely, Mr. Ong, he lived in the house, but around the house, people began to see a fox. A fox was walking around Mr. Ong's house, Mr. Ong's house, and um, the flowers and bushes, you know, the bush, this is a flower, this is flower, yeah? And then the bush, bush is like a rose bush, yeah, but it's a small tree. The bushes, bush, um, and flowers were upturned from the dirt. Okay, upturned, upturned from the dirt means it was like that. So it was pulled out. It was pulled out. Okay, so flower, the flower. And here is the uh, root, roots, the root of the flower. So the flowers and shrubs were uh, pulled out and upturned from the dirt. This is, this is dirt, okay? So from the dirt, and the chickens were crying every night during the night, and the wines were missing, and chickens were extra noisy, quah, 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 noisy. It's very noisy, uh, making a lot and lot of noise. And then the worst thing began to happen. Children began to die. The doctors came and looked at the dead children and they said, the children are dead because of the blood loss. Blood. Blood, you know what a blood is. When you cut, cut the red, red liquid comes out, that's blood. Blood loss. Children died because they are losing blood. They said, what is going on? Now, policeman was worried. What was going on? Who killed them? Who, why are children, children dying? And then people began to talk. They said, well, I think that Miss Brown is strange. Miss Brown is strange. They said, there is something wrong with Miss Brown. People began to talk. People began to whisper. Whisper means, you know what? People began to whisper and they began to say there is something wrong with Miss Brown. So, a policeman went to Mr. Ong's house and policeman talked to Mr. Ong. He said, okay. he said, tell us about your wife. Tell us about Miss Brown. And then uh, Mr. Ong said, I don't know anything about Miss Brown, he said. We are married, Miss Brown and I got married, but Miss Brown goes to her bedroom at 6 p.m. I'm still working, he said. I'm still working. But Miss Brown goes to bed at 6 p.m. and she 
locks her door so I cannot go into her room. I don't know her, he said. And then the policeman says, what, he said. You married to her, but you don't know her? He said, no. And then the policeman said, oh, I'm so sorry, he said. He come for Ted him. Oh, that's okay. He comforted him. He sympathized with him. He, uh, he, com he, uh, how does it say? Uh, he consoled. He, he, he comforted, he comforted him. He comforted him and he consoled. He consoled him. That's okay. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll be nice to you. You know, he consoled him. He comforted her because he felt sorry about, sorry about, sorry for him. Okay. So the policeman said, oh, I'm so sorry. But you know what he said? People say a fox is walking around your house. He said, I will keep watch tonight. I'll see what's happening tonight, he said to the to Mr. Ong. And so the policeman came to Mr. Ong's house. Okay, this is Mr. Ong's house. Okay, and then he had a. Let's see. I don't know if I. I'm not doing it right. Okay, he had a veranda. Veranda. Okay, this is veranda. Okay, veranda. He had a veranda. It's a porch. It's like, I don't know what else. Maybe they had something else too. But this was his veranda. It's a porch. Okay. Um... Yeah, balcony, up my balcony, that porch. Okay. Now, um, the policeman came and he was hiding and watching. And soon there came a fox. There came a, oops, I don't know if I'm right, you know. There came fox. There came a fox. The fo fox came, you know, fox came. Fox came, and the fox da, 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 came on the veranda, and this is Miss Brown's bedroom, okay, and this is window. Now, fox came and jumped into Miss Brown's bedroom, and after the fox went in, the policeman came and looked. And then he saw footprints. Foot print. Footprints. He saw fox's footprints, but these were bloody. Blood. Bloody footprints. Policeman thought. Hmm, the fox, maybe killing the chickens. Maybe the fox is killing the chickens and the fox is eating the chickens, eating chickens. So policeman thought, what am I going to do tomorrow? He went home. Now, the next day, again, the policeman was waiting to see what would happen, okay? And he was hiding and watching. Soon, the fox came back. Fox came. Oops. Okay. Fox came. And the fox this time had a, had in its mouth, okay, he had in its mouth a wine bottle. He had a wine bottle. And then came and jumped into Miss Brown's bedroom. So the policeman thought, what am I going to do tomorrow? And so the next day, 
what he did was he brought three bottles of wine. He brought three bottles of wine and he was hiding behind the, uh, the, the house. Sure enough, Fox came. Fox came. And he saw three bottles of wine. And he came here and he opened up the bottle. And then doo -doo 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 -doo, he began to drink the wine. He began to do 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 do. Second one, do 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 do. the third one. And then the fox is drunk. He's drunk and he can't jump. And so the fox began to sleep. Yeah, I don't know, the sleeping. The fox is sleeping because he's drunk. Soon, the policeman came out and he threw, he tossed. He threw the net, fishing net, and caught the fox. He caught the fox, okay? The fox was sleeping, but now, boom, he awoke. Awoke. Woke up. He awoke. Awoke. He awoke. And he was, you know, he thought, Oh my gosh, I'm caught. And so he began to cry. See, we cry, but the fox and dogs, they howl. Howl is like, Woo! okay? So the fox awoke and it began to howl. Policeman, he took a big stick and he Bang, 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 hit the fox's head and killed it. The fox is dead. And then he saw the fox's beautiful tail. You know, the fox has a, let's see, fox has a beautiful bushy tail. So he saw the beautiful bushy tail and so he cut the bushy tail too. And he wanted to have it as a souvenir. He thought, oh, it's very pretty. I want to have it as an ornament. Ornament. Ornament is something that you, uh, something that you, um, like a Christmas ornament, you know? You, decorate the Christmas tree with ornaments and so it's like an accessory and so he wanted to have this fox tail for his for his accessory he wanted to have it, have it and so he cut it off and he put it in his belt so he can have he can have a beautiful fox tail uh, on his belt and so um, uh, he killed the fox and then he probably took it and, and did something with the dead body. So the next day, uh, he said to Mr. Ong, Mr. Ong, there was a whole fox around your house, but I killed it. And it was strange, the fox went into Miss Brown's bedroom. Is Miss Brown at home? The, fox, the, the policeman asked. And then Mr. Ong said, Miss Brown is gone. She disappeared. She's gone. I don't know where she went. The policeman said, I wonder where she went. Well, but now, last night, no chickens were uh, killed, no children were, uh, died, and no uh, flowers and and bushes were upturned, and chickens were not noisy, and wines were not stolen, and so everything is fine now, the policeman said. And so Mr. Ong said, hmm, I think I'm glad Miss Brown is gone, he said. And then after that, the village became calm, 
and everything was peaceful and everything was fine just the, just like before and the policeman still walks around to to uh, in in town patrols in town to see if uh, there is anything wrong among the people and he, he patrols but he, he when he walks his his um, his ornament the uh, the a fox's tail, the fox's tail around his belt, um, on his belt, uh, when he walks, this fox's tail sways and makes this sound, swish, swish, swish. The fox's tail sway and moves, uh, swish, swish, moves, uh, sways, it makes the sound swish, 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 but it is a very quiet sound. You can't really hear it. Only the policeman can hear it. It is a very faint, faint means it's very hard to hear, but you can still hear it. It's a faint uh, sound. It's like a, it's not very clear, unclear sound, very quiet sound. It is indistinct in this tinct it's not distinct it's indistinct you can't really hear it it's very faint but you the policeman he walks he's very proud of this a fox tail because this is beautiful and it makes this swish 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 faint sound of the fox the end